Hey, this is Teratoots with a quick tutorial on creating a sea of clouds in Terrigen 4. In this video, we'll cover a basic technique for creating a thick ocean, sea, or bed of clouds viewed from above using Terrigen's Easy Clouds. We'll start out in the default scene, where our first step will be to create a new cloud layer, a large, mid-level, altocumulus castellanus. Next, we'll bring the cloud altitude down to 2500, the depth down to 2000, and increase the coverage all the way to 1. This will create a low-lying layer of clouds that covers the entire scene. Now, we'll bring our camera up above the clouds to frame our shot. The ray traced preview can be helpful here to find a section of clouds that looks nice. I'm going to tilt the camera down here a bit to fill more of the view. Let's come back to our clouds and increase the variation to 1. This will create more randomness and bring out the large scale cloud patterns. I'm also going to increase growth a bit to 0.65, which will increase the size of the individual clouds. Next up is density. Our cloud density defaults to 0 0.05, but for really white puffy clouds, we're going to want this up closer to 1. Do note that densities this high take a big hit on render times. I'm also going to bring the edge sharpness down to 1. Next, we'll come into quality and bring the ray marching quality up to 1, which should help with noise in our final render. Finally, come over to the optimization tab and increase millions of voxels up to 50. This will bring out more small scale detail in the clouds. I found that you can get a nice look to this type of setup by bringing the sun around in front of the camera so that it shines through the backs of the clouds a bit while still lighting the tops as well. Let's bring the exposure down just a hair to try to avoid blowing out the whites. And with that, we'll render. And we're flying over a thick sea of clouds.